All right, all right. We're on to our next SketchUp drawing. Uh, this time we're going to do a full floor plan of a full house, and we'll do all the exterior, interior, all the good stuff that goes along with, you know, drawing actual plans here. Uh, this one here I've laid out for you. It's just a simple one-story ranch. So rectangle, bunch of rectangle rooms. Shouldn't be too bad. All right. So we're going to start today with just doing the floor plans, Claude. And what I have up on the screen there is an example of a floor plan of just it, it's the wall layout for a house, for a room. Uh, there's some dimensions on here. Uh, a lot of these dimensions on the inside here are interior dimensions. So like this dimension here is just giving you the dimension of the space inside. It's not including the walls. While these here, out here, are exterior dimensions. If it's an exterior dimension, then uh, it's going from the outside. So you need to know wall thicknesses. We need to know how much to offset things and stuff, things like that, so that we're able to actually draw this. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, over on SketchUp. I have a file that I called The Ranch, but you'll notice here I have right? I have the components open, I have my tags open, I have my scenes open. But you'll notice I've added a bunch of tags already. Uh, you should go ahead and start adding these. It's the plus sign. And I've added all these tags. Uh, colors don't matter. It's not the color of what it actually produces. It's just letting you know over here. But we're going to use the tags and we're going to delineate between the different tags in SketchUp so that we can turn things on and off so that our views aren't obstructed by other things. Like, right, if we're drawing our inside, we can turn off our outside walls so we can see inside easier instead of just hiding and unhiding all the time. But this also will help if you're on a Chromebook, let's say, and you need to, uh, or it's going really slow and your internet's not that great, you can turn things off so that it doesn't have to load everything at once, right? Especially if you load things in from the 3D warehouse, it's gonna really bog things down. So these are the tags that I have so far. Uh, foundation tag, floor plan tag, interior walls, or exterior walls, interior walls, and dimensions. All right, so let's start off with drawing the foundation. Now, what's the foundation? Uh, the foundation is what the house sits on, right? So there's gonna be a thickness to that. It's normally made out of concrete, but it's a footing. It's the base of the house that the house then comes up from. Now, if you actually look on the website, I've posted a, a render of the house that we're drawing. This is the house that we're drawing, it's a ranch. And you notice there on the corner down here below, you start seeing some of the foundation. We have a porch in the front, which we're gonna include in our foundation layer. And uh, goes all the way around the full house. Then you have exterior walls, roof. We're not there yet, right? But you'll see, here's some elevations. We'll be able to get these views as well. You change the style, I think they call it, in SketchUp, so that we can get all this information onto our page. Floor plans right here, pop it out if you need to, but let us begin. So our full foundation size that we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the 50 by uh, 50 by 28 foot uh, rectangle first. All right, and then we'll do offsets and all that fun stuff. So I wanna be looking, I actually found this out, if you click on this scene here, it's a uh, straight down as opposed to like perspective artsy fartsy stuff. This one's like actually what we're doing and then top down, I'm looking straight down. I'm gonna draw this over here because I actually drew this over here and I hit it for you guys. So I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna go, I'm in foundation. You have to click on the pencil to actually draw in the layer that you have. And then if you hit the eyeball, it turns the uh, layer on and off. So I'm in the foundation layer. I'm gonna click rectangle. I'm gonna click and drag out. Now remember down the bottom right there, it has uh, your dimensions. First one in the X direction, our X dimension is 50 feet. That's not a comma, that's a comma. Uh, comma to separate the two by 28 feet, right? 50 feet by 28 feet, there it is. So right there is our base, ah, different software. Uh, right there is our uh, base of our foundation. Space for to get back to the regular mouse pointer. Now I want to include the porch in our foundation layer. So we need to draw our porch. Our porch, the dimensions are down here, 28 feet by six feet. So I'm actually gonna draw this off to the side and move it because I can move by midpoints and snap to midpoint because I want that perfectly centered on the house there. So I'm gonna draw another rectangle. It's gonna be out here. And this one is 28 feet comma uh, six feet. Enter, right? Space bar. Move buttons right here, move. Now where do I wanna click? If I start mousing over, wow, different software moves things differently. I have to hold shift. Shift, center mouse wheel. If I move my mouse over the side, I get this snap set into our midpoint. That's where we want to move to. But look what happens. 
This happens to me every time and I forget. I'm trying to play it off that I knew that that was gonna happen. You need a space bar, normal mouse. You need to highlight the whole thing. Now that it's highlighted, now we can do the move command. Now we can go for midpoint. Hold shift, pan over. Now I wanna snap this to the midpoint over here. Notice how I move my mouse around. Get the midpoint there, perfect. Space bar back to normal, click over here. Now we can actually delete that line. So we just have a solid shape. When it's shaded in like this, that means we have a solid shape. That means we can mess around with it. That means we can press pull it. And that's what we're gonna do next. I'm still in my foundation layer. I'm gonna hit the isometric button here. So I'm just looking at the side just so I can tell that things are going up and down. I'm gonna press pull. I'm gonna click on this and look at this go up. Beautiful. Uh, I want my foundation layer. We're gonna set it at two feet. All right, that's not normal thickness foundation really, just drawing right now. But um, two feet, I want it to be exposed by two feet. All right, so if you actually now uh, have our foundation, I'm gonna highlight again. I want you to notice up here, I had this open, right, our information, and you can change the material up here. So I'm gonna change it right now. I'm gonna change it to be concrete. That looks like concrete to me. Is that concrete? And I'll automatically change the whole thing. Right? So every time we now draw with foundation, it'll look like concrete. And that's kind of what we want, right? Foundation's made out of concrete, concrete layer. Beautiful. All right. So I'm now going to now, or I'm now going to draw the exterior walls of our floor plan, moving right along so that this doesn't take forever. Um, the exterior now, you'll notice, is thicker wall, walls, right? Your outside walls, the walls that are exposed to the elements outside, they're thicker than the walls that are inside your house. So we have two different offsets that we're going to do. You might even notice if you're paying attention, you can see we have two walls on our inside here that look thicker, these two, than uh, the rest of the walls throughout the house. When I get to it, I'll explain, but maybe you can figure out why those two particular walls would be thicker than uh, the rest of the walls inside. All right, but right now I'm just worried about the exterior walls. Uh, deck is a separate lesson because we're going to do an array and everything for that. So let's just draw our exterior rectangle, another 50 by 28 feet. So I'm actually gonna to change to uh, exterior walls, click on the pencil. Now I'm actually gonna pan over. I'm not gonna draw it right on top of this. You might think that I wanna draw it right on top of it. I thought that too. And when I drew it before, it became an uh, issue when I drew everything on top of it and it messed up my tags and it messed up being able to turn things on and off. So it's easier to just draw it somewhere else and then snap it into place. All right, so I'm gonna switch my view. I'm looking back down again. I'm just panning over here. I'm in exterior wall layer. I'm gonna draw a rectangle, click, drag out. We are at 50 feet, comma, 28 feet, right? Enter, beautiful. Space bar to get back to regular view. Again, shaded in, closed shape, perfect. Now I'm going to offset to the inside because our measurement before was exterior. I'm gonna offset to the inside to get my wall thickness. And which button's that? It's under uh, your press pull button. This one here that looks like a curve, this is our offset button. So I'm gonna click on offset. Now you can only offset, it's annoying as anything in, on, in SketchUp, you can only offset a closed shape. You can't just offset a line like we do all the time in AutoCAD. It's annoying. But uh, we have a closed shape here, we can offset. So I clicked and now look at this. We can offset outside or inside. We wanna offset inside. Inside is just six inches. Exterior walls, the thickness we're gonna use is six inches. You gotta fit the siding, you gotta fit two by four, you gotta fit vapor barriers, you gotta fit insulation, piping, electricity. Six inches for exterior walls, interior walls are gonna be four inches. All right, so six inches, enter. I now have, around the outside, a six inch gap. Space bar, get to normal. Now, you'll notice it's separate inside, outside. I'm going to delete my inside box. I'm gonna delete it because I'm gonna keep my inside stuff for our interior wall. So our floor, we're gonna keep for our interior walls. But right now I've deleted um, the exterior wall here. So now if I highlight the whole thing, I can now move this. I'm gonna click on this outside corner here. I can snap, move it here and make sure I'm on top of it there. Now it covered that again. I don't really know why we deleted it, but there is our Wait, that put that inside? Why did it do that? Let's press pull it first and then see what happens. Press pull, close shape up. How far is our exterior wall height? It's 10 feet. Exterior walls are gonna do 10 feet. Interior walls are gonna do eight feet. You have that ceiling thickness. All right, space bar. Now let's try moving it. Highlight. 
move this bottom corner, there you go, to that top. Why does it delete that bottom? That is a noy young. We need that still. Let's control Z, control Z, control Z. Let's keep that base. I don't know why that deleted that. Space bar. Press pull. Everything's going swimmingly so far. 10 feet. Let's try this one more time another way so we don't run into issues. Sorry about that. I'm going to rotate around so I make sure I don't highlight my foundation. Highlight, move. All right, we have it now, right? Apparently, it doesn't uh, let you delete that base because then it deletes the layer underneath. Like I said, it's funny with tags sometimes, but we're on there now. Our exterior walls are on our uh, foundation. So if I now, I can hide, do the eyeball over here and hide our foundation. There's just our exterior walls. I can hide now our exterior. Uh, you can't hide the layer that you're in. If I go back to foundation layer, I can hide our exterior wall. And look, it deleted that again. We're leaving it. We don't need to worry about that because we're only going to see the outside of our foundation and we're just going to move forward. All right. So we have our exterior wall. I'm going to go back to exterior wall real quick. I'm going to hide my foundation. I'm going to highlight everything again and I'm going to change my material. I'm going to make it siding for a house. So you can search siding. Uh, I like the white house siding. Oh, uh, there's the, what we probably could have done for our foundation. But I'm going to do this. You can choose any one you want. You can make it a brick house if you want. I don't particularly care. You can make it look how you'd like it to look. All right. So there is our house so far. So now here's the annoying long part. Even though I'm already at 11 minutes. Jeez Louise. Um, we got to start drawing a foundation or the floor plan. And it may make the most sense for me to stop here. Let you guys go with that. And I'll make a second part for the actual floor plan. All right. So I'm leaving it here. We have our exterior walls on and our foundation. And then when I come back, we'll do a level two or part two for just the floor plan video where I'll actually lay out the walls because that's going to take a little bit more time and we'll press pull those up as well. All right. So we'll delineate between the different rooms. All right. So good luck. Have fun.